So why is this happening that the, the field is a constant irrespective of the distance? Try to think. Say, say this is the sheet. The closer you are to the sheet, the closer are we to this sheet, say. See what happens. If I if I'm very close to this sheet, what is happening? No, what is happening is that here, say you if you come here, right? If if you if you talk about this, okay, if if you talk about a point which is farther away here. So this is making a very sharp angle, no? It is almost making an angle of 90 degree with the vertical, yes. It is, it is, so, so if this is the, if this is the, the plane, and so what is happening? Just, if I am very close to each other, then with respect to the normal to this plane, even, say, say, elements at this distance, they are making a, an angle of about 90 degree. And the, and the field is, is like this. Is not the field is, is is perpendicular to the plane. This field is actually perpendicular to the plane. Why? Because for a ring it is perpendicular to the plane. For the disc it is perpendicular to the plane. And if I extend the disc to infinity, then also it is perpendicular to the plane. So what happens? It starts contributing. Even when I go a very small distance away, they start contributing zero. Cos 90, no? Cos 88, cos 89. That will be a very small value. So, so though you are very close to it, maybe beyond this radius, nothing is contributing. They have started already making an angle of 89, 90 degrees. And further you go, the situation becomes worse in the sense that that angle only increases. Okay, say, say about 2 meters away, it becomes almost 89.9 degree kind of thing. So, its perpendicular component goes down. So, though you are closer to the sheet, you are actually kind of not being influenced by things which are farther away. Now, as as you move farther, you see even 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 some something that is that is that is that distance away, that is also making say an angle of forty five degree. You know, so so as you move farther away, more and more elements join in, join in, producing that field, though. From, from these elements, from, from the particular distance goes down, so the contribution due to these elements goes down, but, but in the same ratio, the contribution due to the other elements add up, and it is that which keeps it constant. What are the other elements we are talking about? Other elements is, this is, this is not this sheet, no, this, this extends infinity, mm. up, down, left, right, down, right, up, down, left, right, everywhere it is, it is extended. So what I am saying that, that say even one meter away is the angle if I am one meter away one meter away the angle is 45 degree if I was one millimeter away one meter away the angle was almost angle with, what? with the vertical hmm. no okay. with the vertical so that started contributing but one meter away for for something that was placed one millimeter away will not be contributing right so it is an interesting thing to, to understand, uh, light also follows something like this, okay, light also follows something like this. So what happens, see for, for a, a, a field for, for a point charge varies as q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r square, no, this is point charge, point charge, a line charge, Mm, an infinite line charge. It it came out to be lambda upon two pi epsilon naught one by r. And for a plane sheet, okay, infinite line charge, infinite plane sheet. It is sigma upon two epsilon naught. You see. Not. Yes, if you put water, then this this instead of this epsilon naught, it will be epsilon r. Not k. Maybe epsilon naught into epsilon r. Oh. Epsilon r is, is taken such that we always take it greater than 1. So the field goes down. So the field is the highest in the vacuum. So count 
that that you will understand when we do the capacitance you will understand it better next chap chapter when we do capacitance then you understand it better the field uh, reduces inside any other medium you will understand that or or maybe uh, for for some rough understanding you may think there is a field here so what will it do it will it will attract some negative charges here no due to which there will be a net positive charge here there is a field from here to there this actually opposes this field so inside the material you have a lower field howsoever absolute insulator it is it will never be kind of no electrons going here so there will always be an opposing field understand so so this goes like that and this becomes a constant now light also follows something like this so if you have a bulb somewhere then the distance the 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 lux the flux of that the brightness of that will 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 fall off as 1 by r square so if you are at twice the distance you will feel one fourth light is coming to you okay lumen lumens the watt per meter square falls off as 1 by r square if it's a line if it's a tube kind of thing a very long one then if you go twice the distance it will not become one fourth it will become only half and if it is a plain sheet that means you you kind of light up the whole ceiling you put 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 uh, tube lights in whole of the ceiling then everywhere the the illumination is a constant uh, it's not infinite but maybe for this distance and if it's a huge thing so it becomes infinite right it acts as an infinite then also it will be fairly good because because so that's why the electronics industries or saving machines there 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 you'll find the whole ceiling lighted okay they require even illumination all over so it it, it is like this field okay